In this video, I'll show you how to cancel an unneeded task using the standard version of Microsoft Project. In the standard version of Microsoft Project, you don't have the Inactivate button that is found only in the professional version. But you can still cancel unneeded tasks using a process or methodology. In this video, I'll teach you my recommended process for canceling unneeded tasks. And if you stay with me to the end of the video, I'll also show you why you should never, ever delete a baseline task. Believe me, you won't like the results. So let's get started. Now let me show you how to cancel unneeded tasks if you're using the standard version of Microsoft Project. Because you don't have an inactivate button, instead I recommend you use a process. Here's the process. For each task you want to cancel, change its duration value to zero days. In that action, Microsoft Project cancels the work for each of the tasks as well. Then, select the row headers for your canceled tasks, and in the font section of the task ribbon, click the Font Dialog Launcher button. That's that little tiny arrow in the lower right corner of the font section of the ribbon. In the Font Dialog, select the Strike Through checkbox, then click the Color Pick list, and choose a darker gray color. When you click the OK button, you can clearly see that my canceled tasks look like canceled tasks. There is a problem, however, in the Gantt chart screen. For each of my canceled tasks, Microsoft Project is displaying a milestone symbol. These are not milestones, so what we need to do is change the symbol for Gantt bars associated with canceled tasks. Here's how to do that. Select each of your canceled tasks, then click the Gantt Chart Format Ribbon tab to display that ribbon. In the Bar Styles section, click the Format Pick List button, and choose the bar item on the menu. In the Format Bar dialog, click the Shape Pick List button and choose any shape other than the black diamond. I'll use the solid circle for example. Then click the Color Pick List button and choose any color you want to represent canceled tasks. I'll choose green. Next, click the Bar Text tab. Notice that Microsoft Project wants to display the task finish date to the right of our Gantt bar symbols for canceled tasks. We don't want that. We don't need dates at all. So select the task finish item, then press the backspace key on your computer keyboard and then press the Enter key to remove that field. When I click the OK button, now look, my canceled tasks are easy to see, the strike through font formatting, the unique symbols makes it real easy to see these are canceled tasks. But what about variants? Let's go back to the work table. I think you'll be very pleased to see that the results of using this process give us the same result as the inactivate button. Notice that our project is coming in 80 hours under budget as shown by the negative 80 hour value for row zero in the variance column. How can we justify and prove that number? 
it's real easy to see that the two canceled tasks included 80 hours of work that was canceled as well. All right, you stayed with me all the way to the end of the video. Thank you very much for that. As a bonus, let me show you why you should never, never, ever delete a baseline task in your project. So, for example, with the two tasks, rebuild and retest, what if we deleted them instead of canceling them, which is the recommended procedure? What happens if we delete them, which is what I recommend you never do? Well, let's try it. I'll go ahead and select them, right click, delete task. Now I'll need to link up, test, and implement. And you know what? The project looks okay to me. I don't see any problems. Is there a problem? Yes, there is. If I display the work table again, you're going to see that I have a bit of an explaining nightmare on my hands. Notice that the variance is negative 80 hours for the entire project, except all the numbers below it are zero. How in the world am I going to explain how this project has negative 80 hours of variance? It's going to end up being one of two things, I'll guarantee you. Either I'm going to look like a goofus, or I'm going to blame Microsoft Project, say, well, I think it's a bug in the software. But you know, that isn't what's really going on here. This is why I recommend never, ever delete baseline tasks. If you have unneeded tasks in your project that are baselined, always use one of the two processes that I demonstrated earlier in this video, you'll be a lot happier in the process. So there you have it. If you like this channel, I hope you'll subscribe. And if you do, be sure and click the notification button so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video. If you do have questions or comments, please add them in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.